Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of the Popular Fiction Legacy Challenge. And today, somehow I managed to miss the little pop-up for Harrison to go to work. So he's gone. Um, he has... We only have to diagnose and treat two more patients. So maybe he might be able to do it by himself? I don't know. I may Because I was working with him um, off-camera, because... It is very rinse and repeat so there you go so today we are going to focus on Corin because I want to complete his aspiration and um, where are we I think this is the last bit we have to do so he has to become friends with three other children so I thought okay we could do that I put a park in um, Windenburg and I thought we're going to get him to visit. It's one I downloaded off the gallery. And I thought we might as well get him to go have a look. See if we can be, if we can make three friends. Two friends, because he's already got one one child friend. Can't remember who it is though. Um, let me see, friends. Lucas, that's it, Lucas Munch. So let's see if we can find somebody else. So, uh, what are you doing? Oh, you're drawing because you're sad. He's in the picky eater phase. It's like, really? How long? How much longer? Two hours. That's too long. All right, finish your sad drawing, because I'm guessing that's what you're doing, a sad drawer. Oh, no, it's not that sad. It's um Christmas stuff. There you go. That's not sad. Unless you're just... Oh, I don't know. Right, let's go. Okay, I put it on... It's called Mid Nowhere Park. I can't remember who I got it from, but that's the name of the park. I didn't change the name of it. The only thing I changed uh, was one of the lot traits. Armani Flex. Okay. Um. Alright, we'll take Olivia. We'll take Lucas. Billy is a grown-up now. Lester. Helena. Evie. Take your sister. And that's it. So at least we know we've got kids there we can play with. Okay. Um, aren't you cold? Rachel Eaton, aren't you cold? I would be freezing. Oh, you're going to be sad. and All right. Um, play make-believe? It's a pity you can't play game- oh, okay. That's one of your dad's conquests. Have no idea who she is. I can't remember turning her. But, obviously... Obviously it was when I was trying to get his, his points up. Okay. That's why she doesn't feel the cult, because she's a vampire. Right. Um, who are you doing? You, uh, you're chatting. Lucas. Um, get to know. Share New Year's Eve excitement. Yeah, don't, don't die. I don't want all these kids um, traumatised. Let me see, who else? Are you... Corin, are you talking to the kids over there? <laughs> but facing your sister. Okay, I won't even ask. Yeah, because you're chatting with everybody. But you're facing your sister. Alright, let's see, what else can we do? Talk about school. Um, help fix bad relationship. With Lucas. What else? Enthuse about candy. Do lots of kid stuff. Are you... Oh, you're sick, kid. Uh, make fun of adults. She's a fan. We don't know you, but let's... Let's introduce ourselves. Alright, now he's no longer sad. I don't know why my computer's so laggy. I hope it's not coming across in the recording, but it's really laggy. Why are you tense? Ah, oh, you don't like strangers. Well, get to know these people, then they won't be strangers. 
Alright, um, what else? Discuss interests. Tell a group story about a giant. Okay, kid, you're in the you're in the you're in the shop. Max Villarreal, please move. Thank you. So gather round, gather round. We have a story about a giant. I can't remember, but we have a story. Corin has a story. Let's have a story. Any time now, Corin. You're not really selling the story. There's lots of nodding. Um, okay, I think that kind of dropped out. Let's try again. More choices, friendly. Can we not get the whole tell a group story? I don't think so. I think we've lost. Oh, tell a group story about a giant. Pick everybody. Yeah, I think that dropped out of his queue. That was a bit weird. Yeah, if you were ill, you shouldn't have let you. You should have stayed in bed. I don't think. I don't think the tell the story option is working. Cause usually, you, oh, there you go. Don't know what happened. Okay, now you're sick. Obviously, you got that from um, this kid. Who's he? Who are you? Lester. Lester made you sick. <laughs> Do you have any medicine in your um no you don't Does your sister have any medicine? No I have reinstalled slice of life. I wonder um I wonder if that would help. He's still itchy, but... Um, okay, symptoms have gone. Brilliant. That will last until we get you home and then you can go to the hospital. Because the Slice of Life mod, it has a sickness bit and you can go to the hospital and you can get relief from your symptoms and all kinds of things. Alright, are you friends with... Uh, we still have two other children. Alright, we're going to have to... Right, who are you most friends with? <laughs> Helena? No, she's Evie. Alright. Cloud gaze with ease, Evie. Uh, bright and day. Um... Where's Cloud Gaze? I should have done that from the beginning. That's the quickest way to make friends. Yeah, I was saying it's a pity they don't have, um, what do you call it? Like in Sims 2, I think it was, you could play games. Dazed, why? Oh, from the medication. Ask the Cloud Gaze. But yeah, you could play like cops and robbers and tag and stuff, and that was a great way to, to make friends as a child. 
Okay, you're sick as well. Alright, this was not a good day to go to the park, not if both of you are sick. Alright, I'll let you guys go home soon because if you're both sick, you're bored. Um, talk to Olivia. Don't walk on your brother's head though. How much longer on the medication? Oh, 12 hours. Wow, it's a long time. But you're tired and stuff. Okay, I'm guessing you two are now friends. Yes, we just need one other child. Um, Olivia. Okay. Yeah, friendly. Do we have another child? Or we could just Olivia then. Uh, friendly. Ask the cloud gaze. Alright, let's speed through this quick. And then we can all go home. And it will all be happy. And you've made a friend. Okay, that's not happening. All right, let's go home. Let's go home. We can always invite Olivia over. At least, I think Olivia... Uh, friends? All. So Pretty doesn't do it in alphabetical order. Olivia. Okay. Evie, we know you're friends with. It's Helena you could become friends with. Helena and, and Olivia. Right, Ashley, you have a quick meal. Um, cereal. And Corin, you have a quick meal. Ham and cheese sandwich. And then the two of you can go to bed. Harrison, we need to, oh, you can do stay up till midnight. Count down to midnight TV, at least. Uh, watch New Year's Eve TV. So you can shushu me to your heart's content. Um, let me see. Can we make a resolution? Get promoted, and you can make a resolution to. Raise a skill. Alright, so you two watch that, then the kids can eat and go to sleep. Um, why are you washing your stuff in the sink though? Is that sink not working? I don't know. All right, so you can go to sleep. Your brother can go to sleep. And then we can concentrate on your parents. I just told you go to sleep. Stop saying how tired you are, just go. Okay, what time, oh, it's 11. Liberty's getting ready to, um, to yell shishu me what you want make a resolution <laughs> have you not made your resolution yet Alright, did you not make a resolution? You did make a resolution. I was truly happy. Yeah, you made your resolution. Right, you two can go and off to bed. Well, 
Or you want to hug your sure. husband, as you do. <laughs> Alright, Liberty, you go on off to bed because you are tired. Harrison, do you need... Uh, no? Really? Oh, nap in the bath. Okay. If that's what's going to help. I didn't know napping in the bath was, was a thing for him. So yeah, if that helps, that's fine. Yeah, well, New Year's Eve was awful because she was ill. Successful for your dad and your mum. And it's over for Corin. Okay. Are you up already? And we need to get you to diagnose people at work and stuff. Just need two more people. That's all. Just two. Alright, you're not going to do anything useful. Let's just... get you through it. Do you go to work on Sunday, though? Oh, grief. No, you go to work. That's the only thing when they reach the top of their career. They have so many days off. And it's like... Well, not... Yeah, well, he's almost at the top. But he's at work, like, every other day. So that's annoying. Yeah, and you're going to tuck in your daughter. Well, I guess we have more time to concentrate on Corin. And then I'm going to have to work on him between episodes. Because, like I said, it is just... It, you don't get much difference in the new, year, new skill day. Okay. I should have said to get a skill. But it's fine. Alright, so... You are... Oh, you've got a bladder infection after being ill. Alright, you go and have a quick shower. And then have a quick meal, have some cereal. Uh, you want a baby? That's not going to happen. Um, logic skill. We could work on your logic skill today. We can do that. Oh, I like that picture with the freezer bunnies. Small pop art. That's pretty cool. The only thing is, where can we put it up here? We're running out of space. Um, okay, you're awake. You're having cereal. Why are you sad? Oh, from failing at holiday. That's an that's annoying. That's a really annoying moodlet. Okay, what are you doing? You are You want to talk to your daughter. That's fine. Ah, oh, um Liberty, what are you doing? You're sleeping. You can get up. Come and tend to your plants. Uh, sell all. I don't think they need... Oh, they might need watering. And water all. And Harrison... I thought you wanted to talk to your daughter. I guess not. Alright, Harrison, you come and... There's work stuff you can do on the computer, right? Um, add new studies to medical journal. I don't think that makes any difference, but at least I feel like I'm doing something. Oh, it's not snowing anymore. Sudden oh yeah, because it's spring now. So it's cool. It's cloudy. Oh, I have a, a mod for an automatic thermostat and then you don't have to worry about turning it on and off it's by um little miss sam i like her mods they're really good they're not too intrusive and a lot of them are quality of life stuff all right that's that 
Uh, Liberty, we need you. What are you doing? You're going to get something to eat. Okay, fine. You are just doing your thing. Uh, what skills can we work on for you? Cooking, comedy, painting, painting. Do a large painting. Um, impressionism, large. Harrison, thank you. Liberty, you are eating your food. Where are you? Oh, she's in the conservatory. Okay. All right, and then you can work on your logic skill. Actually, play with play with one of the kids. Play with Ashley. Uh, eating dirt is unhealthy. The kids might eat you. Eating dirt is fun. No, thank you. Eating dirt is really unhealthy. All right. So we've got those two working on their skills. Corin, you. Okay. Let's invite over those two girls. Actually, no. We can have a club gathering. Because I think everybody who's in the club you had you had invited yesterday. So Helena looks like she's the next likely candidate. It's Helena and Olivia. So let's see who comes over. Uh, who's that? Is that that's Evie? She's a friend. Is that Helena? Yeah, that's Helena. Okay. Uh, Harrison's done a masterpiece. That's awesome. Bright and day. Talk about school. Um, friendly. Where is Ux the Cloud Gaze? Ux the Cloud Gaze. Alright, Harrison, let's sell your masterpiece. No. I sell it. Yes, we want to sell it to a gallery. We're not that bothered. Alright. Um. Ashley, you're just... Can you... I wonder, with the Slice of Life mod, can you be treated for a bladder infection? Where are you? You're outside. Mopping up puddles. As you do. So if I send you... I think that's just for a cold, though. Let's get treated at a hospital and see what happens. Because Kawaii Stacy has done a lot of work overhauling the um, Slice of Life mod. So it's it seems to be more playable now. I don't know. Although, now that I'm looking, it's supposed to have... There's supposed to be part of it where female sims get their periods. And when I first logged in, um, Liberty had six hours before her period kicked in. And now there's nothing. So I'm not sure what's happening there. Not really sure what's happening. Okay. Um, are you two friends? Yes. Oh, is he? Did he get it? Well, that was a bit of an anticlimax. Did we not get... Oh, there you go. I missed that. So aspiration can completed. Great. All right, you two don't need to... Thing. Go talk to everybody now. Um... Can we tell a group story? All right, so that... Well, that's him then. So, actually, we can age him up. Because he's completed his aspiration, he's a grade A student, we can age him up. 
All right, well, in that case, and we could age up his friends as well, because um, I also have a mod for that. Also by Little Miss Sim, Little Miss Sam. Sorry, not Little Miss Sims. All right, well, in that case, let's have a birthday party. Right, uh, Liberty. No, Harrison. I want you to bake a cook a cake. Everyone else cook bakes a cake. In The Sims, you cook a cake. Do a hamburger cake. We are going to have a party. Because, yeah, now he's finished his aspiration. Because when I'm... It's on... It's on long. The lifespan is long. So, obviously, if I wait for him to grow up, we... We've got another 22 days. That could be forever. So, yeah. I mean, like I said, the only person we're waiting on is... Harrison. But I think... I think we're, we're pretty much done with him. So I will grow up Corrin. I will have to see what skills he needs for the next level. That next aspiration, which I think is the... Um, oh dear. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Uh, secret agent career? Maybe? I might be making that up. Please don't quote me. I'll have to double check. I don't have it open in front of me as I usually do because I didn't think I'd actually need it today because it's like, yeah, we just need to get Harrison to go to work and do his stuff. But not realising that we'd have a holiday and that he'd be off and he's not actually going to work until tomorrow. There you go, he's maxed a skill. Not maxed a skill. He's gone up by a skill level. Add birthday candles. All right, so uh, more choices. Age up, children. So this is the the mod by Little Miss Sam. So I can age up all the children who are here. So they will all at automatically age up into teens. And then Corin, you can age yourself up as well. The kids club. Uh... Hey Corin, you've got funky hair. I like your hair. All right, so let's. Kids allowed. Did I allow teens as well? Um, settings. Requirements. Child. Add admission rule. Um age teen or child yes teen is fine not child ah join a club did i not do that not qualified um okay I'm going to have to um, edit that one at some point. So, we've got a birthday. Uh, you're not feeling well. Let's have a look at you, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to... Yeah, you're not well. How's your sister? Is she over-medicated? I know, that didn't cure the bladder infection. Okay, that's fine. So, Corin, let's have a look at you. I've never seen that shirt before. I didn't know they had that shirt. But we will... We will sort you out. We will definitely sort you out. So... Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.